Whew, all right, my friends, Casual Duelist back at it. Third video today, last triple feature I'm thinking for a little while, hopefully. Unless, again, this was pre-taped. The structure deck may actually already be out, so we might have to do something with it today. So you guys might get a fourth video, and then uh, we're going to be back to usual. Um, again, we should be pretty close to, or if not, already into... October. October means spooktober, my friends. So get ready for lots of fiends, zombies, and just really creepy builds. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have more speed tool stuff because it should be the first week of October. We're going to have the midterms box. So again, we'll do some more three dove builds then. Then we'll do builds only using cards in the box. And then we'll build them one last time. Uh, just overall, and then we'll see like what kind of cards we got to just move forward with rebuilding everything that's already been built. There might be tons of updates, but we need to talk about the last duelist. The last duelist is going to be Alexis Rhodes, and the skill card is the Cyberblade Fusion. Now, as many polymerizations as they were giving away in this box, this is one of the decks that did not get one. Instead, we got this skill card that does it twice for us. So once per turn, you may discard a card to Fusion Summon one Cyber Blader by sending either a Twall Cyber or a Blade Skater from the field to the graveyard as material and the other material from the hand, field, or deck to the graveyard. That Cyber Blader gains 400 attack, and this skill can be used twice per duel. Now, not only does it mean that we only need to have, you know, one of the monsters... We do have to board it, but we could get the other one out of our deck so we're not losing uh, card resource from hand. And additionally, we're going to get an extra 400 points on our fusion. That's going to bring her up to 2,500. And uh, I can't wait to just talk about that card because, again, it's one of my favorite cards for my side deck or my extra deck anymore. So let's get this deck. Let's go. Um, first things first, three blade skaters because, again, I want to maximize my opportunities to pull these. And if we're going to maximize those, we need to maximize the Atoll Cybers. Now, Atoll Cyber does have an effect. That effect is that if this card attacks directly, it will gain 500 attack during the damage step only. Um, and again, if you've cleared the board, you summon this, you can get extra damage off. So again, perfect card. Very cool. Lots of lady power. And for those of you wondering, because you haven't heard her in a minute, yes, Celestial Duelist helped out with this build as well as the Crystal build um, as they are two of her favorite groups currently in Speed Duel since Black Wings and Synchro have yet to attend. Um, however, once they do, I promise you, she's going to want to deliver the Black Wing video. So that's a thing. Uh, other good cards that we're going to be playing, uh, we want two copies of the Cyber Gymnast. Uh, once per turn, we may discard a card. Then target one attack position monster our opponent controls to destroy it. And again, since it is targeting, use this sparingly. Um, you could set this as a defense and pass. It does have a staggering 1800 defense. But this is another reason why we need to keep hit cards in hand. Um, between this and our skill card, those are two discard effects. And then, last but not least, two copies of the Different Dimension Warrior Lady. Again, this is situational. This is optional, and it's absolute girl power. So she's got like this butter knife variant of a lightsaber, which is probably actually supposed to be a real blade. Um, and this is just how they decided to uh, alter the art for America. Um, but during, or sorry, after the damage calculation, when this card battles an opponent's monster card, you get to choose to banish both cards. So again... If you attack, you can attack offensively into something that's too big, banish it. Or if something attacks it, maybe maybe you just want it off the field, go ahead and banish it. Um, next up, and this is amazing for those of you that love your reprints, Cosmic Cyclone was available here. So we're going to play three. Quick play, pay a thousand life. Uh, target a spell trap on the field, banish it. Again, why three? Because we've got two effects already that allow me to discard the card if I if it's too many uh, between our Cyber Gymnast and our skill. So again, I don't feel bad. I'm just going to keep playing them. 
two copies of the warrior returning alive you guys got to remember all of our cards all of our ladies are warriors so again it just makes sense that if we did need to pull one of them back because uh, again let's say you started with a 12 cyber and blade skater um, you could discard one of them after summoning the other to go into the blade fusion activate the returning alive the next turn to go ahead and fuse with another copy from inside the deck so again, it, it's got value, or discard it, guys. I don't care. Next up, the Dobla Passe. And again, this is such a good card. Uh, when the opponent's monster declares an attack on a face-up attack position monster that you control, it doesn't matter. It could be any one of them. Make the opponent's attack a direct attack instead. So just go ahead and take that. Um, then look at your opponent and go, Okay, now I get to inflict damage to you. Equal to the attack of the monster that you did a target. So, real quick, what that means, um, you know, you attack for my blade skate, my cyber blader. Uh, you got two monsters, my attack's doubled. Uh, it's at 42 plus the 4, 46. You're attacking with something silly, um, something that probably has bashing shield, like a DD warrior lady with a bashing shield. I can go, no, you know what? I'll take the 25 direct. Uh, we'll make it a direct attack. Um, I don't think the bashing shield lets you damage me, but even if it did, whatever. 25 to deal game to you is a steal. And again, it doesn't even have to be that. It could just be something small attacking at uh, anything. Um, maybe you wanted to attack me with, I want to say it was New Doria. When it dies by battle, it could take one monster to the graveyard. Uh, I'll take that attack directly. I'll take the 12 or 13. Uh, and then you can take my big monsters attack. So again, double pass a great card. But the effect isn't in there. The, the, the effect also states that we can also make the monster that we control attack the opponent directly next turn. So we get to slap them twice with that card. So good. Now the last card we're going to use, we're going to use two copies. And again, it kind of fits with the whole... What if we didn't need the card? Can we discard it? Theme. Yes. We're going to use two copies of the Hollowed Life Barrier. So this is Wabaku on steroids. And by steroids, I mean you have to discard a card to activate it. But you take no damage from opponent cards. So this means effect damage and battle damage. Also, your opponents cannot be, or sorry, your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. So again, it does make them good. You could activate this in response with the double pass, eh? making sure that you won't take any damage. You can go ahead and make it a direct attack. Won't matter, you couldn't take the damage. Then your card gets a slap. Then during your turn, you can attack directly if the opponent's still around. So again, fantastic stuff. And we do we do get the Cyber Blader Fusion Monster. So again, maximize it, it doesn't matter. You can only really play it twice anyway. Um, but why not pull all three? Um, Fusion Summon of this can only be done with the above materials. Uh, this card gains the following effect based on the number of monsters your opponent controls. Uh, and again, it seems like this was just custom built back in like 04 for a 2022 speed duel. Um, again, if, there's, if it's one on one, a Cyber Blader cannot be beaten in battle. If it's two on one, then this card's attack doubles. And if it's three on one, the opponent's activated card effects are all negated. So again, just a perfect card. And again, perfect for any extra deck when using Waking the Dragons. So guys, that's it. That's all I got. That's all the speed decks. That's all of them Battle City. It's all of the GX Battle. Uh, we'll be back with these uh, in this format once the, <laughs> the GX midterm releases. Um, but guys, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, Zaymont, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope this fulfills the entirety of the request. And, uh, I hope we knocked each one of them out of the park for you. I hope that you and your play group get to use these well. Um, guys, if you want to support the channel, simplest thing to do. Doesn't cost you anything but a little bit of time. Like, comment, subscribe notification bells, and share it with your friends. Again, it all helps us get seen more. It helps us 
attract more players to enjoy the content here. Um, but more importantly, guys, have a wonderful day. Um, and I'll see you guys later, all right? Peace.